Listen up. My name's Race. Race Motor. I'm a, what we in the business like to call an arranger of agreements. Maybe you see a car on the track you like. Maybe you want to support that car. I don't know, in perhaps a monetary way. I can facilitate such a transaction. Now, some people like to throw disgusting titles or money cars such as bookie or guy who takes illegal bets on races, but that just ain't right. So much so that I think it is unright. So, you wants to know about a guy by the name of John Hills. Yeah, I'm familiar. Real familiar. <laughs> Me and uh, Jay Hills used to be real tight. You see, John ain't exactly the guy people might have thought he was. John claimed to be working at the mines, right? Wrong. Guy ain't worked more than two days in the hole before he realized he hated it. Would you want to work for that guy, Joe Carver Minery Pants? <laughs> that guy's so dumb, he probably has rocks for brains or something like that and so on. John decided to trade in his Carver for some carved rooms and that he chose to become a race car driver. And a mighty fine one at that. Guy won race after race. I made a killing because people would assume he was a bad driver because he used to dig stuff. Let me speak for a personal note about how people decide what cars to bet on. Most people just choose by the names of the car. I mean, what they don't know is that I'm just making up the names. But gamblers are, in general, gullible and stupid. How else would you explain their willingness to bet thousands of dollars on a car named Baz Mufflerman? Or a sedan quail? Or even paternal illness? That last one isn't even car themed! <laughs> so you see why a guy whose car was called Excavate Car didn't inspire much faith. Despite his poor resume, John managed to not be useless. The guy could drive, you know? Only downer was that all the money he won, he saved for his kid and that wife he always jawed on about. Claimed he was finally going to make enough to move them somewhere nicer than that Coosberg hole. In fact, the day before that meteor struck, John had been in a race. His car got sideswiped and he got hurt pretty bad. Fella was stuck in a hospital bed for months. He refused to send word to his lady cause something about she wouldn't want him driving cars and then something else about the shame of being dishonest. I don't know. Minor talk if you ask me. <laughs> anyway, the guy recovers but has racked up so much in medical bills that he needs to race in the hospital circuit to pay it all off. The hospital circuit is, of course an international racing league that takes place in 72 cities over all of the world for a year, give or take a month if it's a leap year. Heard he did pretty well. Finished fourth or something. What do I care? I got things too. I ain't got time to worry about people. We done? I, I got a race in five minutes and I need to take bets on which lap is going to be the most important. The odds say 50. Hey, uh, you want a piece of this action, huh?